every gift of the Holy Spirit and everything that we do or everything that we use, like Jesus used mud and his own spit. He told us to use wine and bread, which represent his body and his blood. Amen? Amen. 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 The Assyrian general came. And he wanted to see the prophet to be healed. His slave girl, which was a Jewish girl, said to him, In my country there's a prophet that can heal. And he went down to this prophet, Elisha. The prophet did not come out because he knew that was a wicked general. He was not a good man. But look at God's mercy. Then he came there, want to see the prophet. The prophet did not come out even. He just let him know. Because he did, he did not ignore the Jewish slave girl, which was anointed because she was a Jewish girl. Because he did not ignore this young woman. God had mercy on him. Not because he was a good man, he was a wicked man. So the prophet just let him know. Dip yourself seven times in the Jordan River. He was disgusted because the Jordan River is not the mightiest river if you look with your eyes. So in Assyria, there was greater rivers than the Jordan River in Israel. And he said, why should you? this man had an attitude? Say a bad attitude too. Now look at God's grace. Although he had a bad attitude, the prophet let him know, dip yourself seven times in the Jordan River. Say seven is God's number. The number of fulfillment, number of blessing, complete. So he argued, there's greater rivers in Assyria. Why should I be dip myself in this Jordan River here? But eventually his peop the people who came with him convinced him, please do it. So he did it because they said so. He had no faith, my friend. But the prophet had great faith. And the slave woman, the Jewish girl, had mercy on her master. Although she was a slave girl, she had the faith. So God had mercy on this leper, this wicked general. And he dipped himself seven times in the Jordan River. And he got healed. Why the Jordan River? Because the water represents life. And where two or more agree, it will be so. There was a prophet agreeing with a Jewish slave girl. They were agreeing. Where two or more agree, it will be so. Although this general was a wicked man and a stubborn man, God had mercy on him because of two people with faith. In Jesus' name. Did you bring the picture? Hmm? That is the Jordan River. It's not very clean, is it? So he had to dip himself seven times there. <laughs> Give Jesus a hand. The Jordan River represented going in from desert into life, the abundant life, the promised land. So it carried that type of power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So every gift and everything, if I use tonight the oil, if it does not point to Jesus and the healing that is in Jesus, where is the oil? The healing that is in Jesus, then um, it is false. But now that I preach Jesus, every gift and every blessing that we use should point to Jesus and bring people closer to Jesus. Everything that does not bring us to Jesus is false. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So every gift, whether I speak in tongues, whether I prophesy, whether I preach, whether I pray for the sick, whether I cast out devils, must bring people closer to Jesus. If it does not bring people to Jesus, it is a false spirit. But if it brings people to Jesus and make people excited about Jesus, it is the Holy Spirit. So today there came a woman. That woman that came here today, she's not here, no? She, bring, she brought a gift to the church because she's so excited. She came for the first time on Wednesday evening. She's not here, huh? 
She got saved and healed and she could not sleep for, for years. She could not sleep. Wednesday night was the first time in years that she slept right through. So what happened? A prophet is known by his fruit. There's the fruit. That woman, I mean the devil will not allow you to sleep right through the night. He wants to disturb you. Amen. Say every tree is known by its fruit. Every man or woman is known by their fruit. Every prophet is known by his fruit. We are like trees, a planting of the Lord. Every tree that my heavenly father did not plant will be uprooted. But every tree that my heavenly father has planted will produce fruit and fruit that will last. In Jesus' name. If we got an awesome building and um, we got nice sound equipment and everything, but there's no fruit of healing, deliverance, people coming to Jesus, getting excited about Jesus, what spirit is there? Maybe the spirit of fame or glamour or something like that. Maybe the spirit of good preaching and nice clothing, but no healing, no deliverance, no salvation. What is the fruit? That we should produce is healing, deliverance, salvation, breakthrough. Amen? Amen. So tonight Jesus will bring breakthrough. Every gift must take us closer to Jesus. Whether we speak in tongues, prophesy, pray for healing, deliverance, preaching, whatever we use must bring us closer to Jesus. This is the work of Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Ask the guy next to you, do you got the Holy Spirit? Are you born again? So many people claim to be born again. If you do not have the Holy Spirit, you're not born again. Ask the guy next to you, do you got the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. So tonight we pray for breakthrough. Let every gift, you know, people don't say what's happening in a service. When they go out, they find at home, when they come home, they find out what God has done for them. They come here with their testimonies and they rejoice because Jesus has healed them, delivered them, bring breakthrough, salvation, whatever. Amen. Hallelujah. So Jesus is awesome. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say the blood of Jesus. I'm sealed with his blood. There is three that be a witness on earth. That is the blood, the water, and the word. Why blood and water? Because where the blood is applied, eternal life will flow forth, which water is representative of. That's why we get baptized into water. 